hello guys and welcome to this video in this video we will learn how to create a dynamic sitemap dot xml file using javascript in 10 minutes about myself i am padveep jain angular developer and community contributor so as you all know sitemap file play a very important role in every seo friendly website although there are many online tools and websites are there on the web which can create a sitemap file for your static pages website but there could be many cases and scenarios where you need to create a script which will uh, dynamically update your sitemap file or you have to manually update your sitemap file let's get started on the coding side so in every website there are many files uh, and one of the file is sitemap.xml file so as the name suggests it is in the xml format it contains a multiple entries of every url in your website so it contains multiple options so the very first option is loc which contains a full url path uh, for a single url from your website then the second option is a last mod last modified basically it what it denotes it what it denotes is when this url is last modified or updated then the third parameter is change frequency so uh, basically what it denotes is how frequently this page uh, page content is changes the third the fourth uh, option is priority so basically what it says is like how important this page uh, relative to the other pages of your website you can set the range from 0.1 to 1.0 so to dynamically update sitemap file we will we are creating a new javascript file here i am naming i am named as sitemap-update.js file so firstly we will talk about the all the imports we are using to create this script the very first important the very, the very first import is here is fs file share, which is file system basically it is responsible for all the operations to perform on a file like read operation write operations etc the second import we are using here is xml hyphen js so basically this import is responsible to convert xml text into a json format and vice versa and few imports i'm using here and few variables i'm declaring here the very first step to create a script is we need to fetch all the content uh, are already there in the sitemap file and convert it into a json format so that we can add new entries into that json format and then after convert it into xml format and update the sitemap file so in order to do that uh, we are we are trying to fetch all the content of sitemap file using fs.read file method so this will return the content of sitemap.xml file into a buffer buffer format uh, later on we will convert uh, it into a json format using xml to json method of xml js package so the next step is the second step is we need to add all the entries uh, all the new entries into into this json format and combine it and store it into a variable so that we can convert this json format into xml format okay so the next step is to create a sitemap file from the json data we are having so in order to convert json format into xml format we are using here json to xml method so this will return uh, this will return data into a xml method xml format and later on we are using this uh, we are using this data to update our existing sitemap file using fs dot write file method so that's it uh, like we have done with the script so in order to run this script 
I am adding one new entry in the script section of a package.json file. So I have added new entry sitemap. So in order to run this command, either we can run this command using npm run sitemap or we can use simply node space sitemap hyphen update.js. Let's run this script. So as the screen displays, sitemap file is updated. Let's check the sitemap, updated sitemap file. See, we have a lot of new entries here in the sitemap file, lot of new entries. So our script runs successfully. Yeah. So uh, I'm also writing a blog on each and every, on each and every step. And also, uh, I have created one repository where you can where you can see a whole source code for this uh, script. If you like, if you love this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.